Guys, this thing is finally coming back together. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna continue working on our Ferrari 458 Spider. And as you've seen in the previous video, we finally got this sucker painted. And we just brought it out in the sunlight to kind of see how well it matched up to the original paint. And I gotta say, it matched up perfectly. But today we're actually gonna start putting this thing back together, starting with the hardest part. And that's probably this trunk front area right here because as you can tell it's completely gutted so we're gonna go ahead pull it inside and if we have time towards the end of the day we're probably gonna start color sanding and maybe buffing and polishing this thing so let's go ahead pull it in and get started So now that we got the car lifted up and the front bumper off, we're actually about to drain the radiator fluid because these radiators and condensers are actually gonna have to come out to install our brand new shrouds which are in that box. And that's just how you install them. You first install the shrouds around the radiator, and then they pop into the car. So let's go ahead and remove these radiators and then we'll go from there. All right, so as you can tell, we got all of our original broken parts here. And the reason why we don't throw nothing away until the car is complete is so we can use all the OEM bolts and know exactly where they go. As you can tell, that one side is complete. It went smoothly. Now we're gonna jump on this side and try to complete it. All right guys, so we were just about to put together this side radiator and air ducts, but then we noticed a kink in the oil line. I believe this is for the oil, right? Or the transmission? Yeah, I think it's just an oil cooler. It's just an oil cooler, an extra oil cooler. Yeah, extra weird looking oil cooler. I don't see how it cools it a lot, but I'm sure it cools it a little bit or something like that. But we're gonna go ahead and try to heat it up and try to maybe hit it with some pliers. If that doesn't work, what do you think we could do? We can maybe take it to somebody to get fixed. I mean, I don't know uh, how bad this thing is pinched. It's not too bad because uh, it actually runs good. The oil doesn't heat up there's or anything. Pressure so there's, there's pressure in it. There's pressure. There's plenty of pressure. Yeah, there's nice oil pressure. So we're going to try to fix it. If we can't, we're going to probably try to take it to somebody see if they can fix it because I don't think we can get one of these parts like in quick. It's probably no, going to yeah. be straight from Ferrari. And their parts take forever. As you know, even the aftermarket stuff like the Vorsteiner, all this stuff is taking forever. But let's see what we can come up with. All 
right, so I think we just fixed it. I used a little bit of heat right here and uh, some pliers to pinch it back together and it actually took the pinch out and it's not pretty, but it's definitely opened up a lot more. So we're gonna go ahead and just use it. I don't think we'll have any problems out of it. So let's go ahead and start assembling this radiator. So that is it for the radiators. Pretty much got all the air ducts, everything put back together. Even these little hoses right here, we had to actually swap them out because they were in the wrong position. It was leaking, right? Yeah, they were all leaking, but we got them all perfectly aligned. Check that out, dude. Nice and smooth everywhere. Factory finish Hopefully there. Hopefully no leaks at all. But right now we're actually gonna try to delete this one pump right here. This is a water pump for the headlights, which our new bumper does not have those little spray nozzles that yeah. go out. So I don't know, how do you think we should delete it? I don't really want to unplug this because I think it'll give off Throw a light because something. you know how ferraris are every code pops up if something's right. not right so what, what do you think we should we just plug we should, it yeah probably just pop it off right here or right here and then just plug it or something plug so, it up yeah. so we don't have to worry about nothing but after this uh what do you think the trunk area is gonna start yeah, going we back got together a bunch of stuff look at all that stuff right there that's all trunk stuff and some inner fenders yep. there but we'll everything that we need that. to basically put this thing back together but dude it it looks so good with all the little plastics dude, and air ducts it actually looks like a performance machine right yeah, now. Yeah, and we did notice one thing on this side over here, this air duct actually has a little vent outlet right here, which that side does not have. This actually is where the bumper sits. As you know, our bumper has little vents that come up, which is crazy. I was I was hoping there would be two on both sides. Yeah, but I believe I know what the thing is. This is actually Ferrari from Ferrari right here, right? I think both of them are actually from Ferrari. Then that's weird. Yeah, I guess, I don't know. Maybe one of these is aftermarket or something. Or they just don't have one on, on both or sides. That. Because there is like know. a little oil cooler on this side this one doesn't have an oil cooler so i'm sure this probably wants more air to be flown through it or they don't want water to be uh, going something down like in that it. something yeah. like that ferrari know, knows what they're doing but it was just a little weird because they have vents on both sides but anyways let's just go ahead and keep moving She's coming together, ain't she? She's starting to look pretty, man. This plastic stuff is kind of hard to snap into place because it has to snap into the windshield, which we are gonna be removing here soon because we got a replacement windshield on the way. But anyways, we just wanna go ahead and put this all together. So, uh, you know, we can finish it off basically. Yeah, because then later all we gotta do is just pop off these two panels and then the glass guy can do his thing. Yeah, it should be super simple, but uh, we're just trying to figure out exactly how all this goes back to place and to see if we need to order anything else. Yeah, you know exactly. What I mean, I mean that, uh, my main concern was just to put this grocery grader all together, you know the, what I mean? The grocery luggage bag thing right here, dude. Fit a couple lettuces or two, you know yeah, what I mean? Probably a pack of cabbage or some 12 some pack broccoli. of cabbage. <laughs> <laughs> some broccoli. But anyways, let's go ahead and try to snap all this sucker back together and then what, headlights next? Headlights and uh, we still got some, oh, inner fenders. I forget yeah. about that. Yeah, inner inner fenders, fenders. And we got to try to seal our spray nozzles through for our windshield. That's so right. So let's keep on moving, man.
All right, so now that we ran all the lines for the windshield washer nozzles and also threw in some of this trim, now it is time to actually throw in this front bumper. But before we could throw in this front bumper, there is a few things that we do need to assemble. And what is that here? We, we, we gotta got... try to figure out how to put these little grill inserts on. As you can tell, they're just gonna slap right in there. Ooh, they look dude, really good, good especially their nice high gloss black, which is gonna match nicely with that carbon fiber. But before we can actually throw these on here, we gotta figure out what we can use because we can't just use a screw and just screw these suckers in. Uh, so well, I'm thinking we use some epoxy. I know Crest, the company, hooked us up with a bunch of uh, different types of epoxy. So we're probably gonna figure out what we can use, probably some windshield glue or epoxy. So let's go ahead and see what we can come up with. So check this out. This is exactly what we're gonna use right here by Crest, the Formula 21. This stuff sets in about 10 minutes, which is fairly quick compared to other epoxies. So let's go ahead and actually slap it in our gun right here because this is a dual stage epoxy. It will mix up in these mixing tubes. And then we're just gonna slap this sucker on here just like that, put some tape around it and then throw epoxy all the way around it and hopefully it dries and we can throw this bumper on. Adhesive for bonding and repairing plastic fiberglass CMC carbon fiber, Ooh. properly prepared steel and aluminum, dude. That is, that is what's up. Them boys done hooked it up. Oh, how do I do this? Careful, you're gonna glue, you're gonna glue my fingers together. Glue your fingers together, man. You're gonna be walking around like this. Oh yeah, <laughs> let me go ahead and try to get this sucker. You know what I'm gonna do? Get you some pliers. You may be right, or I can get my pliers out. Them pliers strong? Them pliers ain't too strong. They ain't as good as they used to be. <laughs> So the grills are on, they're all epoxied in, and they're nice and strong. Definitely gonna hold up to 200 miles an hour, but right now we're actually gonna go ahead and throw our headlights in, and then we can throw on our front bumper. I was thinking about going about 2,000 miles an hour. 2,000, 200, whatever you want. This stuff is actually super Dude. strong, dried super quick. I'm telling you guys, if you want to do something like this, this is what you want right Formula here. Formula 21 right there in 10 minutes. I think it was even in less than 10 minutes and this stuff was already dry, dude. That is freaking awesome. I've never had any luck with any epoxy, but that's probably the one that we're always going to go to right there. We're definitely going to need to order a lot more than that right there. That is awesome stuff. All right guys, so you just seen us make this little bracket for our headlight because we were completely missing it. So we had to manufacture something out of aluminum and epoxy it directly to the headlight. I think it's really strong. So we're gonna let that epoxy dry for a little bit and we went ahead and fixed this bracket as well. Instead of buying a $2,000 headlight, I think we just saved $2,000. So we're good there. We're gonna let that dry. And then I might throw a little bit of black paint on there just to make it nice and sleek. And then after all that's done, we're gonna go ahead and bolt this headlight in. And then finally we can go ahead and bring in our front bumper. All right, 
right, so actually before we throw our front bumper on, we wanna go ahead and adjust our hood with our headlights and fenders. And also we need to adjust our hood latch right here. And that means we're gonna have to pump all this stuff back off. So let's go ahead and actually pop everything off, adjust everything, and then we'll be ready for our front bumper. So we finally got that front trunk area 100% back together and we went ahead and aligned all the body lines and it looks absolutely amazing. Next step would be to color sand and buff the entire front end before we put the inner fenders and the emblems on, but it is super late on us so we're gonna have to catch you guys in the morning. Alrighty guys, so it is the next day here and it is finally time to get this paint job looking nice and sharp. As you know, we painted in the garage here, so we got a little bit of trash in our clear coat. That's all right, we got all of our sandpaper here and we're gonna go through the stages. We're gonna start with 1500, then 2000, then 2500, and then a 3000, and then we're gonna buff it and this thing is gonna look freaking like glass pretty much. But let's go ahead and get our bucket of soap and water, wash this thing down and start wet sanding. Alrighty guys, so we just sanded the hood with three stages. We got one more step left to go and that's a 3000 grit, but as you can tell, it is a nice matte finish. What this 3000 is gonna do is make it like a nice sheen and it's gonna make the buffing process a lot better. It's also gonna make it look a lot shinier when we're done. The finished product is gonna look absolutely amazing. So let's go ahead and use this 3000 grit and then we're gonna break out the buffer. Had to do that right quick because all the dust and stuff from that wool pad is gonna get it all in that interior and we did not want that. Because have you seen that interior, man? Spectacular. <laughs> Spectacular, <laughs> full of carbon, and we wanna keep it nice and clean. So let's go ahead and bring out that buffer and set it on that paint right there, that fresh paint. Let's do it.
Alrighty guys, so we just finished buffing that hood and it looks absolutely amazing. The next step is to swirl mark, remove it. But we're probably gonna save that for the next video where we buff the rest of the paint job and also polish the rest of the paint job. So it's gonna look like glass when we're done with it. But I mean, right there, it's looking like glass so far, but it needs a little bit of touch up work. We'll save that for the next video. So make sure your post notifications are on so you don't miss out on anything. Cause we're gonna start throwing this thing completely back together. Hopefully we get a new glass in it as well and maybe we can go ripping this thing. And you might've noticed the brand new She Rip shirt with the Goon Squad on the back. These are very limited. I believe there's only like a hundred of them. So be sure to visit goonsquad.com, copy one and help support your boys. Also guys, be sure to follow us on Instagram at Goon Squad or you can get inside scoop there before YouTube. So with that being said, thank you guys for all the love and support. Be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below and we'll catch you next time. Peace.